Sometimes hobbies can be more than just fun. If you're lucky, sometimes they become your business. That's what happened to a San Diegan, only his hobby. His new business is having a profound effect on customers in their darkest hour. Bill Menish tells us in tonight's 615. In his small woodworking shop, Dennis Champagne finds comfort working with something he loves. It's noisy, but Dennis says it's here that he finds peace and happiness creating something special. It's the ability to work with your hands and to produce something that looks nice when you're done. There's dust and more dust for ashes to ashes. See, it's what Dennis is making that makes his work unique. I make a display cabinet with a built-in urn into it. He calls them Eternity Urn Cabinets. They hold cremated remains, and as of April, he calls this operation his new business. My first impression was that it wasn't going to work. That's his wife, Deborah. She has since changed her mind. She's seen the impact this wall-mounted memorial has on someone, her husband, Dennis. What the cabinet brings to me is close, closeness with my, my father. They were partners in construction for a dozen years, taught Dennis how to work with wood, how to build. And though a father's love was strong, his heart was weak, too weak to live. I wanted to display him in a way that I uh, felt that he was with me at all time. In his father's death, this idea was born, allowing loved ones to remember through keepsakes like a coin, an old pair of glasses, and a watch. On his birthday or Father's Day or any time that I feel lonely, I could go up and see him and put my finger on the window and talk to him and be real close and still real connected that way. His father's cremated remains visible through a small glass window, or you can cover the windows with keepsakes and never know they are there. And not just people, remembering pets who have passed is popular as well. In my heart, while I'm building, I know I'm doing good. Something good that helps in a time of mourning. Building an eternity urn cabinet, a place where memories can live. Bill Menish, NBC 739. Dennis says he's had positive feedback from customers, but it's the one he donated that he thinks about the most. That cabinet went to a mother who lost her son in Iraq. If you would like to know more about eternity urn cabinets, we have the information for you on our website, NBCSanDiego.com.